should you mix your coolant with water or just use it directly and also what is the difference between coolant and antifreeze So this is just a quick follow-up video to the video I did about the difference between uh, the two colors. So when it comes to coolant and antifreeze, uh, they both serve the same purpose but uh, it's different in the way that they are both used. So your antifreeze will normally be a concentrate of um, the antifreeze uh, liquids and it comes in a percentage so you can see on this bottle it says 20% concentrate that one says 50% concentrate and uh, the basic understanding there is for example on this one this gives you protection of up to uh, negative 8 degrees celsius as you can see right there uh, up to negative 8 degrees celsius while this one will give you protection of up to negative 20 degrees celsius so the higher the concentrate of the antifreeze uh, the more that it can you know support much colder temperatures so basically with these two on the antifreeze side you get instructions uh, like there it says add one liter of the antifreeze to one liter of water until the cooling system is full so you know that if your cooling system for example takes uh, six liters of uh, coolant uh, into the system then you know that you're going to need about uh, three bottles to three liters of water three bottles of antifreeze to three liters of water of water to be able to fill your cooling system but then there's also a ready mix coolant like this one so this coolant is already mixed 50-50 uh, so there's 50% water um, and there's 50% antifreeze in this bottle already so you know that if your car takes six liters you just go ahead and buy six bottles of these and then drain the cooling system and you pour in the six bottles of coolant and you're good to go so that's basically the difference between the coolant coolant will already be mixed and also sometimes it's just uh, the region in which uh, that these are used so if you are in a country that is a much colder region it's more relevant to say antifreeze if you are in a country like zambia where we experience more heat than the cold it's more marketable to say coolant so yeah at the end of the day just read the bottle but on average that's what it will be a coolant will almost always be a 50 50 50 mix that's ready to go you put in your system then your antifreeze you're going to have to mix just by following the instructions one liter to one liter of water then you should be good and just a quick note on the water that you're supposed to be using so whenever you're going to mix your antifreeze into the water just make sure that you're using either still water if uh, or you're using distilled water so still water will still have uh, a bit of the minerals that i talked about calcium magnesium uh, all those things found in normal mineral water uh, those things might end up you know causing corrosion and rust in the system so you always want to get distilled water if you have access to that and if you don't have access to that you can still use still water and your system will just be fine cool so that was just a quick follow-up video if you guys uh, like the content leave a like and of course keep the comments rolling i do look at your comments and i can make uh, follow-up videos like these and of course if you want to support the content that i do here you can go ahead and use the video gifts function on tiktok I know Facebook as well and yeah you can continue making videos like this where people get to learn and understand different things about cars so until the next one guys take care and drive safe